welcome back to That Paradox Computing. I'm here to give an update on the Ender Chest Cracker. It's been updated, so it now no longer needs the uh, Buildcraft gate. It now just runs purely off Computercraft. It also doesn't even need a transfer node or any way of getting items out of the chest. It's all managed by Computercraft now, so that's kind of cool. Shall we see how it works? Uh, so here we've got a couple of chests. They've got a whole bunch of items in it. Now observe the speed that this guy's running at. And once we start this one up, it's going to not only empty these chests very quickly, it's also going to speed through all of the combinations. So let's see it in action. And it's found. There you go. And that literally just emptied those two basically full ender chests. <laughs> And it moved the entire contents down into this chest underneath it. So you can put whatever um, inventory you want underneath the ender chest for it to put items into. And the whole thing's just managed by the computer. So literally all you need to do is put down a computer, an ender chest, and... Well, actually, um, I'll show you the system in action. Let's put a chest down there. We'll put a computer here. We'll put an ender chest there. And paste bin get control v start up the paste bin link will be in the description bam so now it's got it and you can reboot or type start up either or and it'll start going and that's it so it's uh very very simple quite easy to set up and now we'll put any items you know into here i can't open that chest because i think i put a computer on top of it so don't set it up that way but yeah, you can put, uh, you can have it set up so it connects to an applied logistics network or whatever. Now let's have a quick look at the code, shall we? Edit startup. So the code's basically the same as this to be of a change. If you want to see an explanation of all of this, go back to the demonstration of version one. But so we've got it's detecting. Well, just very quickly say it's detecting the ender chest automatically. So the ender chest can be on whatever side of this you like. The inventory the ender chest is pushing into though has to be down unless you're going to change one thing which i'll show in a second so that's the automatic detection here's where we set all the buttons all the colors you can see it might just go away so that's not flashing in the background but this is what cycles through all the various colors and here we get the bit where it just uses the inventory so what it's doing is we're using open peripherals to do this chest dot get all stacks which returns a table containing the contents of um, of the ender chest. Then we do push items down for slot. So we're getting slot from um, slot, this variable slot we're getting from the get all stacks. And it's going to, yeah, try and push down everything that, um, every slot that has an item in it. So if there's no items, then it just won't do anything. Now, um, we're also getting if chests.push item down is greater or equal to one. So if there's at least one item that's been moved, it's going to set items to true. So if it was able to push an item out of the chest, it's going to say true. And if items is true, then it's going to go ahead and print all of this stuff here. Now, I didn't have all of this in this for loop, or it would do it every time. And of course, every time it um, pushed an item down, we just want to do it once per chest. So that's why I'm doing items equals true, and then doing this outside of that for loop. And yeah, then this is just the same. This is what prints up the colors it found on the screen, which look like, oh wait, I'm going on that one. Oh, this one should have it. There you go. That's that. So it keeps a record of whatever chest colors it actually found. Yeah. Cool. So let's exit, start up, and yeah, and does it really quickly does the whole set of combinations in about three minutes i believe pretty good anyway guys i believe that's everything like and subscribe if that's your jam um check out some of my other wacky crazy computer craft contraptions and i'll catch you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye